Hi quilting friends, I'm Linda Nitson with Sizzix. Today I'm going to show you the Rose Dream die. Very exciting, it works on the Big Shot Pro Machine only. It is a Pro die, and I've already cut out the shapes for you to expedite the video today. So when you're cutting out your background shapes, you've got the um, pieces here, and you would use just the fabric on this side of the die. When you're cutting out the pieces in the middle that make the chain portion, you want just your fabric here, and then it does come with the bonus to make the drunkard's path. So when you get to that part, or you're just cutting out the drunkard's path piece, you need background and then the quarter circle. So let's show you what the block looks like, and then we'll go ahead and piece that together. So the block itself looks like that. So you have your background pieces, and then your chain pieces that will eventually look like they're connecting throughout the quilt. So, how to put this together. You have background pieces, you have melon shaped pieces, and you have squares. So, you first take your background piece and your squares and you attach them to the end. And you sew all the way across to the edges. Okay, once you get that sewn, then you need to attach the melon shape. And you attach the melon shape by matching up the darts here. I have it already started for us today. You put one pin at the dart, and then you wanna match up the end of the melon shape to the end of the fabric on the back side. So you're gonna eyeball it right there, and then you're gonna put a pin at a quarter of an inch from the edge where it meets up with that seam. All right, you're gonna put a pin right there. Then you're going to ease the two pieces together. Now I am a pinner. Some even call me an over pinner, but that's all right, I'll take it. Here's the entire piece, the melon piece shape, uh, pinned together from end to end. When you start sewing, you're going to begin at the quarter of an inch pin right here, and then you're going to scant quarter of an inch seam all the way around, and you're going to stop right here as it meets the seam on behind. So I have that already sewn up, and then you wanna attach the second, using the same method, you wanna attach the second background piece to that melon shape on the opposite end of the melon. When you attach those, you wanna leave the square pieces unsewn, and you will do that last. So now that we have that ready, let's just give that a little pin. You wanna pinch up the edges here as they line up together. And then begin sewing from uh, the outside edge, going inward, and stop right here on the stitching line, okay? When you do that on both sides, you will finish with this piece here, minus all the extra threads hanging. So clip those threads off for you, and there's one block completely finished. You would make multiple blocks to achieve the quilt that we have here. Now I told you that we would also do the uh, Drunkard's Path unit and how that goes together. So you would, just like you sewed the melon shape in, you would take your background piece. I'm not going to show you everything, but you would just take your background and your quarter circle and you would begin putting a pin in the center and then following the same pattern, but on this time, you would sew all the way to the outside edge, okay? And then you would end up with a quilt that would use both units. So here's our Rose Dream unit, and here is the Drunkard's Path unit. So now you've seen how to use both patterns to achieve one beautiful quilt, have fun with that Rose Dream dye.